Hey, Marcus, uh, new season for you, new extension, seems like a new, more consistent role. What's, what's it feel like coming into this season with all of those things in place? Um, it feels like every other season. You know, I'm here to do a job. You know, I'm here to help a team, you know, uh, bring a championship back, back home for us. And uh, that's my job. So, you know, just like any other year this year, um, things are just more, um, I guess you said, consistent. So uh, nothing's changed. The attitude is the same. Go out there and do everything I can to help my team win. We'll go to a Zoom question and Bobby Manning. Hey, Marcus, uh, you talked a lot last year about how difficult the, of a season it was for you personally and for the team. Um, what kind of lessons did you learn through that? And what kind of things are you and the team trying to do to come together with a lot of new faces here? And, you know, a lot of people here that, you know, didn't quite work last year. Um, moving on, you know. understand that um you know things didn't go as planned as well for us last year everybody had things that they were dealing with um personally uh on and off the court so for us it's just starting fresh starting over <clears throat> and you know kind of rebuilding that that, that, that mentality that we know that we that we need to have it, that we've had over the years so just getting back to us and, and starting fresh abby, abby chin Hi, marcus uh, can you kind of take us through this summer, what it was like for you, all of the change um, with Brad ascending to the front office, hiring the new head coach, and then also with your extension and um, how those negotiations went, was there ever a question? Um, I think um, when you get into, you know, negotiating anything, there are always questions. Um, that's part of the business, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I think uh, a lot of things get taken out of sight when it comes to this game, that it's a business first. And uh, some things you have to do things, say things, or or not do things or say things that you probably wouldn't or would um, when it comes to business status. Um, but like I said, we're here. I'm excited to be back. You know, I'm excited to be with these group of guys. I'm excited, you know, for a fresh start. Like I said, everything is a fresh start for us. That's kind of my mentality. Um, with Brad moving on, uh, with Eme coming in, as the new coach and um, just trying to figure out how we can get back to, to, to the team that we've been in the past and, uh, you know, really bringing that back. So um, <clears throat> it was definitely different. Um, it was a little uh, uncertainty, confusion, but um, I think we've kind of passed that now. Everything's kind of in stone. We're, we're ready to rock and roll. You know, the team we have now is the team that we're going to rock with. And, and like I said, everybody that's here, everybody that's back, everybody that left, you know, we wish nothing but the best for them. Jared Weiss. Marcus, uh, so two-part question. So last year's team was a very young team. This year, there's a lot of experienced veterans here. How much do you think that will help you and the team as a whole that, like, you just have more veteran experience? And then you're coming into the season as the point guard for the first time, even though you've played plenty of point. How much does this role, maybe you're not as, as forced to be as aggressive on offense. You kind of let the game come to you and be more patient offensively. Um, for your first, to answer your first question, um, for us, <clears throat> coming in, you know, um, having that that veteran leadership uh, with guys who 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 are veterans and who've been put to, to I guess to the test a lot more than the, than the younger guys. So it's always good to have the older guys there who's been through it, who knows what it takes, who's know what is uh, what is what they're going to have to endure for a season to get to where they want to go. Um, so for that that aspect, we're excited about it. You know, we got a lot of guys in here older uh, on the veteran side that, like I said, is just, you know, eager to really um, sponge out their knowledge to these younger guys. And, and like I said, came here to do what we're supposed to do. And that's trying to win basketball games. Um, to answer your second question, um, it feels good. You know, my primary position, I've always been a point guard going up. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, now it just allows me to, to go out there and pick my spots. Mark Murphy. Hey, Marcus. He may have said that he had a conversation with you where you wanted the ball in your hands more. He wanted to be more of that playmaker. Um, how do you work Jason and Jalen into the offense? Just how much does your role change the more you get the ball in your hands? 
Um, it's easy, you know. Um, for me, it's finding those guys in the right spot. You know, uh, I was one of the, the leaders in assists last year. Um, and I think that speaks volumes, my playmaking skills and the things that I could do with the ball in my hands. You know, just having that opportunity to finally go out there and do it without looking over my shoulder or having to worry about, uh, you know, uh, what's they're going to tell for me if I'm too aggressive here or if I'm not too aggressive there. And just really, you know, uh, picking those spots. So, but it's going to be real easy. You know, we got Jason and Jalen, two unbelievable players in this league, and uh, we're going to need them <laughs> a lot this year. Um, we're going to lean on them a lot, and we're going to do a good job of making sure we get them the ball when they're supposed to have it. Final couple of questions, Marcus. First for Gary Washburn. Hey, Marcus. It seemed like last year everybody kind of liked each other. There was no real, you know, issues, but then it just the chemistry wasn't there. What did you learn from last year? How can you be a – do you want to be more of a leader this year? How, what did you learn from last year in terms of just kind of the chemistry and how things didn't work and how tough was that to deal with? For us, um, we learned that – you know, um, we loved each other. It was more than just like, you know, we, we did a lot of things together that most people probably don't think we did. But uh, <clears throat> on the court, it's a different story, you know. Uh, for whatever reason, it just didn't click the way we wanted to. But that's life. That's how it goes. It doesn't, you know, you could plan for something, but just because you plan for it doesn't mean it's going to go the way that you thought it was going to go in your mind. So, you know, it's a, it's a lesson that we have to learn that, you know, uh, nothing is guaranteed. You know, um, you have to go out there and demand it, own it, and take it. So for us, it's, <clears throat> you know, um, not getting too low and getting too high. You know, we got to understand that, you know, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint, and it's not going to be easy. But as long as we prepare the right way, you know, and, and, and do our jobs on our ends, we'll be put in a place in a situation to do good for ourselves. Gerard Blakely. Marcus, the, the league is uh... – made it pretty clear where they stand as far as vaccination and things like that. And, and as a player, uh, it's a very personal decision, but at the same time, it's a decision that has a, a, a ripple effect on the entire team. How are you as, as one of the leaders kind of approaching this very delicate situation? And obviously a lot of players, not just on your team, but just in general, are trying to process as far as what's the right thing for them to do. I mean, it's tough. You know, um, it's tough being told what you can and can't do with your own body, you know. Um, for me, you know, everybody's tied to their own opinion, opinion to feel how they feel. Um, I chose to get vaccinated um, because, one, just quite frank, I didn't feel like dealing with the BS that, that's evolving around it. Um, but that was my decision, you know, and, and I stand with anybody who makes their own decision um, and feel what they, they feel best for themselves. You know, understanding that, unfortunately, some certain situations like, you know, the how hard that the league is going to make it for players who are unvaccinated uh but i chose to get like i said i chose to get vaccinated just because i didn't feel like dealing with the bs uh or i didn't feel like causing my team uh any disparity on that end when it comes to you know me not being available for for whatever reasons with those so um i respect everybody's decision uh either pro or against um so that's where i am with that and, and that's where it is we'll wrap it up right there thank you guys thank you very much marcus